Aye, man, we got my nigga black motherfucking roots in the building today, man. What's good with you, my nigga? Sound like I'm telling a horse to giddy up. What's happening? Oh, nigga? my God. This nigga got haymakers and quotes. Oh, my God. What's good, my nigga? <laughs> shit. Ain't nothing, man. Wicked shit. South shit. RC, you already know what it is, bro. You already know, man. You already know, my nigga. My first question, bro, you know. You know, you rep this RC shit hard as hell, bro. Pause. Like, you how, you, how you feel about niggas saying you like the RC mascot, bro? Like, how that shit make you feel, bro? Shit, I wear that, my nigga. Shit, everybody need a motherfucking general or mascot or just, like, I wouldn't say I'm the face necessarily, but, like, if niggas got something disrespectable to say about this shit, I'm going to address this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, at the end of the day, niggas created this shit to get away from the goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This was like the motherfucking, the fucking all stars of the, of the the EBL shit from before. You know what I'm saying? So that's a fact. Like, all the like, lit niggas. Facts. All the lit niggas. Lit, lit niggas with media. Niggas with bars. Niggas analysts. Niggas like we was the best niggas over there. Period. Like we was the we had the best energy. So the fact that we moved all toward all over here and got on one platform and shit and started doing shit for ourselves, I felt like that shit was lit, my nigga. And anybody that got something to say about that is a, is a high-key hater, my nigga. So yeah, nigga. Nigga. Talk to them niggas' roots. Yeah, man. Niggas be on that goof-ass internet shit, my nigga. Like, I'm not... I'm not I, don't, I don't be with that shit, bro. Like, I don't understand niggas that just be goofy for no motherfucking reason. Like, I told Damn. you before, I'm the same, I'm the same nigga... I am here at the motherfucking grocery store, at my auntie house, at my homie. Yeah. I'm the same nigga, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that other goofy internet shit, my nigga. So, like, anytime niggas be on that goofy shit, I got to check this shit. You know what I'm saying? On me. Wicked shit, nigga. Facts, man. All right, my nigga Roots. Okay. All right, bro. This, this shit been going around for a minute, man. I don't, I don't really like how they be trying to play you with this shit, though, bro. Nigga mm-hmm. said, like, you remember your Chuck battle, right? Right, right. Yo, intro, RRC, we taking over. Yo, nigga said, as soon as you said that shit, bro, that was the downfall of our shit, bro. Like, is niggas hating, or is there some validity to that shit? I mean, okay, so what's happened since then, right? Yo. The nigga Vandini uh, went on a hiatus. He back. Shout out to the Grand Genie. But right. nigga went on a hiatus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, what else? I I lost a battle after that, in which I got myself winning that Chuck battle. That nigga ain't say nothing. Okay. Niggas don't remember what the fuck he said, but guess what? They remember my motherfucking intro. I bet you that. Oh my mama. So, you know what I'm saying? I won that battle, but lost to the white boy. So chalk that up. But other than that, like, what can niggas say? We got Caitlyn with the live battles. He's smoking niggas. We got this two. was before that yeah. though. This this was you know we just got lit again like shit probably three weeks ago because Slim beat the shit out of Vabs nigga. But before that he had that horrible ass battle with Brills and nigga said I cheated knowledge to get into um advancing the tournament. Then I let's, lost the chunk. Let's, let's let's talk about that. Mm-hmm. Niggas didn't pay judges or no shit like that like niggas pick the judges right before the fucking battle so like talk to them niggas i don't understand i don't understand. like it's the same thing as it was back in the day bro niggas had niggas judge the battle our uh, first watch whoever they had winning they had winning right there oh, it's mom. no motherfucking different so talk to the nick talk to the judges you can't blame the battlers for who win and who lose on a judge basis if the nigga clearly lost he clearly lost if the nigga clearly won, he clearly won. But if the judges have it a different way, talk to the judges. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no reason to get mad over that shit, bro. That shit, again, goofy shit, my nigga. Like, and, I, and shout out to my nigga Kareem because he had me on the first round of that shit. That's a fact. He was in that tournament, bro. Also, that nigga Red um, kind of got Taurus out of here. But that, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was a bad little two months, bro. But now we lit. We the most lit niggas again that fast. And we don't even battle. We them niggas, bro. It don't take much. We a bunch of lit niggas, bro. So it don't take much for us to get back in the game and start shaking shit up, my nigga. Like that's what we've been doing. Some motherfucking fact. Hey, look though. See this? 
I was saving this question, but this I seen your battle ver uh verse make sense, Lockhart, whatever bro name is. That's a fire battle, good shit to both of y'all niggas. But my question, bro, like I was listening to that shit and the nigga, you know how you is, you black power, you know what I'm saying? Black yeah. lives matter, you know how you get down to shit. When the nigga, yeah. when he when he questioned your like integrity of black power when you go to the army and shit, when he was questioning that shit, like was you fucking with that part of his round? I mean, I don't judge nobody for their opinion, you know what I'm saying? No. At the end of the day, it's battle rap. But on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was on the front lines after uh, Ahmad got killed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, doing That shit research. happened in your hood, right? That's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. Damn. Niggas killed him in broad daylight, bro. That shit was fucked up. But... I was in the front. I was in the front lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When when some bullshit happened around my city, I'm front and center. You know, making sure everything go accordingly. You know what I'm saying? I've I've sanctioned I've sanctioned shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm true to what the fuck I believe in. Yes, sir. I don't know about other niggas. So you can judge me based off of that, or what you see on the motherfucking internet, or you can come to the wick and ask about me. Oh my god. <laughs> Niggas can pull up and ask about roots, but he he had a he had a good ass angle. I'm not gonna lie, I was fucking with that army angle. I was fucking with that shit heavy, and I ain't really this like how that. Blindsided I was, I ain't even know the nigga was in the army. But even even that, my nigga, like the fact that he was able to construct that shit the way he did, I fuck with it. I still got me winning, but. Yeah. He had a good ass round, bro. I was hoping that he ain't stay on the cop shit forever because that shit dead, my nigga. Like that shit don't That's work. Another thing, bro. Like how you like every time somebody bother you, they bring that shit up, bro. Just like your narrative. Did you you feel like you automatically win when niggas bring that shit up because you heard it five, six times already, or what? Not only that, but like just on some real life shit, bro. The same way we got to get niggas in office, we got to get niggas in, in, in blue at the same time, bro. We got to start going back to policing our own neighborhoods and shit. Because uh -huh. we can't trust these white folk that's not from where the fuck we from to not fuck some shit up. That's the uh, main right. shit that fucks shit up is because this over entitled cracker with a badge and a gun come through and he judging, all, judging us based off of what his life like and not what our life like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I get, like, same way as goofy shit in real life, uh, uh, goofy shit in, on the internet is goofy shit in real life, my nigga. So, like, I'm very much an advocate for black people becoming police because that's the only way that shit is really going to start to change. So, if you want to call me a cop, a pig, a snitch, or whatever, for me wanting to better my community so that I can, I can one, be able to feed my daughter, that's one. Two, make sure that my son grow up in a safe place to where just because he got dreads and walking around don't mean some whatever the fuck can come around and put a gun to his face just because he looked like he not supposed to be where he, he at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or he looked like he up to something. That's bullshit, bro. And wow, everybody bro. that, that mentioned some, something negative about it, let's talk about it. Like, what are you doing to make your city a better place? You know what I'm saying? With all the shit that's going around, what are you doing to contribute? Are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution? I'm trying to do anything I can to be part of the solution, my nigga, because I've been part of the problem before. Hey, Roots. Hey, mm -hmm. Roots. What about, mm -hmm. the, what about the niggas who, not street niggas, who never did no street shit in their fucking life and they still trying to paint you as this police-ass nigga? Them the same niggas that's calling the police. Like these niggas have dialed nine one one before. <laughs> like, this is my thing, bro. If you've never, if you've never been involved with no street shit, you can't talk about street shit. That's how the street go. Yeah. If you a civilian, be a civilian, my nigga. And most of these niggas is civilians. Ninety five percent of battle rap is civilians. Niggas ain't doing doing the shit that they saying. Talk to them niggas' roots. Oh my god, <laughs> niggas not niggas not flipping packs. Niggas not shooting niggas. Niggas not pressing niggas on the block. Like niggas not doing that shit. That shit all entertainment, bro. That's why I, in my make sense battle, I said I'm a five percenter because 
I'm part of the five percent of niggas that that rap. I've done the shit that I rap rap about. I've seen the guns that I say I shoot. I've shot the guns that I say I shoot. I've yeah. seen niggas get shot by the same uh the same shit that I rap about, bro. I rap about the shit that I live, my nigga. So you feel like you got you gotta at least seen the shit to rap about some of the shit that you niggas be rapping about. To a point. But if you say you'll you do gotta be there, to you gotta be there at exactly. least, bro. You gotta if have you, been there. But if you say you you'll do bodily harm to a motherfucker and you ain't never been in a fight, or the last fight you had was in the fifth grade with some little ass kid, that ain't no that ain't no you don't get no clout for that. And I hate the word clout. I can't I can't stand that fucking word. You so just you used it, it nigga. I, but but that's the thing. I know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas use yeah. words that they don't know what the fuck about. Like snitch. Like, what do you know about snitch snitching? Like, what do you know about a nigga not taking his case and putting it on another nigga so he can get a lighter sentence? Like, really, really. Niggas don't know about that, bro. And niggas want to put that on somebody else or or even speak about it. That shit. Goofy as hell, my nigga. Like, it's goofy. Yeah. So, like I said, if you're going to be a civilian, be a civilian. If you're going to be a street nigga, be a street nigga. All right, man. And if you're going to be a part of the solution, be a part of the solution. Don't just be a nigga who talking and doing nothing. Facts, because at that point, you in the way. Oh, okay. That's lit. My nigga roof's turning up and shit. No, we got to get into it, though, man. You got one of the bars of the month, man. You know what I'm talking about, nigga. You know Since what I'm, I'm talking like about, Django? nigga. I like the way you die, boy. God oh damn. Oh, my so God. Fire. Oh, my God. That shit was fucking fire, bro. That shit was fucking crazy. I surprised myself, bro. And <laughs> yeah, that's not even being, being a cocky nigga pause if necessary, but, like, and shout out to my nigga Kareem for giving the most reaction in the motherfucking building. That nigga made that shit even more lit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how you come up with that shit? Bro, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. This was my third time trying to finish Django since the first time that I watched it all the way through. Because niggas know that 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 movie, like, three hours long. You know what I'm saying? So Paul, I couldn't sleep, so I, I put this shit on. And I didn't realize that that's my favorite part of the fucking movie until I seen it again. Like, he run down on the, uh, on the dude right before he about to whip the girl and Bah, like hit him right in the chest with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he repeated the shit that was said to him by that same dude when his girl was about to be whipped. So like, I fuck with that shit, my nigga. Yeah. Like, we kind of come around though. Like, I was really fucking with that shit. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta put that in a bar some way somehow. And I came up with it right there. That's like, is that your craziest haymaker, or was it the the first horse shit you did? It it may be. Because the horse shit was so different, niggas didn't see it coming. Yeah. So, like, that that got a couple of oohs and ahs, and it got, you know, it got reaction once niggas went back and heard it again. But that, that broke the building. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what time it is right now. I know you got to get out of here, but we ain't done yet, nigga. You know what we do over here. I got all the so, time, my nigga. So... Who do you feel like is ass on this Discord shit, bro? We got to get into it. Fuck EBL and fuck King. That's how I'm feeling. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's number one. Oh, my God. For niggas that don't hear me, fuck EBL and fuck King. That's how I'm oh, feeling. My you nigga Bobby just battled to Chilla Jones over there, though. Roos? Bobby just battled to the Bobby just battled Chilla Jones over there. They can't get no credit for that. Bobby, not EBL. Nah, I know I'm talking was, about the platform, though, where he battled him at. Nigga, that shit could have happened any motherfucking <laughs> way, bro. Bobby could have got that shit set up on his own if he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't give, I don't give no respects to niggas hitting niggas in their DMs, pause, and say, hey, you want to rap for some money? Of course. Oh duh, these niggas, battle rappers are attention whores. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to do whatever they can to get their name out somewhere. So... And I fuck with Bobby. Bobby had a crazy fucking round. Chilla did some, did uh did numbers too, but that shit could have happened anywhere, my nigga. That nigga lost. 
<laughs> nah, he did. He did good though. That nigga lost to me. That nigga lost. But he did good though. So it's just it's just EBL. Like that's that's it. Uh, EBL. What, what about on some battle rap shit? Not not on no beef shit. Just shit. on some who you think not good or who you think gas. Art is getting a little bit of gas right now, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Go, nigga. He, he not he not on premium, but he definitely getting a little extra, a little extra regular. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was wigging versus promising land, though, right? That's a fact. That's a fact. But he just got good. <laughs> he just got good. He just got good, bro. Like <laughs> niggas talk, niggas talk about my battles. Yeah, that's nigga. why I said versus Boomer. Niggas rather see me lose than listen to you win. It's oh true. For well, a lot of niggas, bro. Ruth niggas rather Ruth. hear what the fuck I gotta say than to hear what the fuck you gotta say. And that's for mm. a lot of my motherfucking opponents, bro. They wanna see if I'm gonna have some whack shit. They wanna see if I, if I got a crazy haymaker. They wanna see if I got a, a some funny shit. They want niggas wanna see me, bro. Very entertaining, bro. Definitely. I'll give you that. I'm one of the most talked about on this shit. You can you can research the mo- just put in roots and see what come up. Right. Whether it's good or bad, niggas still got my name in their mouth. Pause. Nigga, Roots is talking, bro. Is that it? Just art? I ain't trying to have you pause, bash these niggas or not. I'm just asking <laughs> questions, bro. Nah, nah, nah. And then, like, with art, right? Yes, mm-hmm. he just got good. That nigga was terrible when he first came out. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying right now, he was first terrible. And he's, he's starting to cook up. Yeah. He not fucking with me, though. And let that nigga still be around here when I get back. He getting the first ass whooping. <laughs> oh my god! You got a, I got a belt with his name on it right now. This nigga is wigging. <laughs> All right, bro. We, we, I see you. You say you don't rock the <laughs> That nigga, you say art gas. I fuck with it. Okay. All right, bro. What? Uh, art, art this... doing art doing this shit. I I fuck with art on some regular shit. I fuck with art. Battle right wise, he not fucking with me. Okay, you need to set that up when you get back, bro. And, okay. And, and, and Cash Kid need to slow down. Oh, my God. Cash Kid. I'm not too? saying he bad. I'm not saying he bad. Okay. we how need you... to slow down. Well, the nigga, was calling kid... me out at, the nigga was calling me out at one point. I'm like, nigga, I, you, you was under a wing at one point. Oh, my God. You was teaching the nigga? I was, nigga. Like, the nigga ran at least two rounds by, by me before the battle. Or before two of his battles. And that's just facts. If he start oh, yeah. tapping on it, then he wanted that. That's what he want to do. But th- he was looking for really some critiques happened. from Black Roots. Is what you're saying? Right. Oh my facts. god. And here's another thing: if I'm so trash, why is niggas running their rounds by me? That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, my nigga Roots be talking, bro. What about um? You, I know you've been seeing the the tier list and all mm-hmm. that shit. I no, fuck like, with it. Anything that makes niggas mad, I'm there for it. That's a fact. Me too. That's why I'm doing this podcast. <laughs> How you like you? You they be placing you kind of low on that bitch, bro. Like what? What was your rating? I don't even know. That shit like sixty. Last or... time I seen a rating, I think I was at like a 72, 73 or something like that. That's the last time I seen one. You feel like that's where you no should be? You. you say what? You feel like that's where you should be, or you feel like you should be a little higher than certain niggas? I mean, I'd have to look at the shit. But based off of how entertaining I am and based off of how niggas niggas go crazy when I get a win. Yeah. Niggas go crazy when I get a debatable. So I, I say I, I should probably be 76, 78, something like that. But at the end of the day, that, that shit don't matter that much to me. Yeah. Just opinions, basically. Right. You more lit than a lot of niggas on that list. Win, lose, draw, whatever. You more lit. Than a Whole good, fact. a good seventy-five, eighty percent of you more lit than the niggas. Whole fact. All right, my nigga. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. You now you gotta do your thing and shit. Get up out yeah, of man. Roots, man. We gotta, we gotta do this again so we can get get in some more bullshit. But like, just let me know, you know whatever, bro. Let me know, man. 
But uh, man, shout out to all my niggas on here, man. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. I apologize. Man, man. You got my bad, my bad. Hey, Roots, you got anything else you yeah. want to get off your chest before you go? My bad, pause too. My bad, my bad. Uh, like I said, shout out to my niggas on here, man. Shout out to RC niggas, Landini, Kareem, Torres, Slim, you, Trey, all my niggas on here, bro. My nigga Foreign, Foreign, you gotta get back in the ring, bro. Foreign, you gotta get back in the ring, bro. Nigga went crazy with Pooh Bear. I need to see that some more. But um, shout out to everybody doing their shit, man. Shout out TYS. Right. I fuck with the niggas. Them niggas lit right now. That's a fact. Shit, that's it, man. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Whole fact, anytime, bro. You know, you know, you the Brody. I already know him, bro. Lights out podcast, my nigga. We out here to uh, salute the roots. South shit, nigga. Wicked shit. <laughs>